Hi, my name is Christina Mealy, and I am an associate with Fastenup. There are two really distinct ways to think about connections. One is the most typical way, which would be gravity connections, um, connections between beams, columns, and walls, um, and connections that support loads um, that are vertical or caused by gravity. The other type of connection would be a lateral connection, which is the type of connection that ties a building together um, for lateral loads, such as wind or earthquake loads, and connects the floor plates or diaphragms to lateral elements like shear walls or brace frames. From an engineering point of view, um, a designer wants to utilize the natural strength of wood to make the best type of connector. So for example, because wood is a natural material that grows from trees, it's strongest along its length parallel to grain in the same way that a tree grows in compression. So anytime you can utilize that strength of wood in a connection, that's ideal. Aside from the engineering properties, ease of install becomes very important. Um, it's important to try to limit crane time and labor as much as possible to make a project cost efficient. The right connection for a project will have to do with uh, probably first and foremost the aesthetic of the building. Um, do you want to celebrate a really robust and um, uh, heavily bolted connection? Um, or do you want to hide it and have a really clean aesthetic? Um, additionally, the fire rating comes into play. Can the connection actually be exposed or does it need to be concealed within the timber member to protect it from fire? And then um, last but not least, the loading. So a much higher loaded element might require a different type of connection than a very lightly loaded connection. So this becomes really important when you're designing connections between different materials. It really comes down to understanding how much movement you'll expect and then measuring that in the field and having options for shimming or um, flexibility within the connection. So anytime the building um, requires a fire rating for the structural elements, um, you typically would see this, um, if we say in a type four building, for example, heavy timber. Um, in the newer building codes, as you go taller, you require higher um, fire ratings on taller buildings. So if any of the structural members require a fire rating, that same fire rating carries through to the connection.